In second degree AV blocks, there is an occasional P wave that does not get conducted to the ventricles. This usually results in a long PR interval, but more telling is that some P waves are not followed by subsequent QRS complexes. There are two types of second degree AV blocks, type 1 or Wenckebach, and Mobitz type 2 second degree AV blocks. Each differs in their anatomical causes and variations in PR intervals and dissociations between P waves and QRS complexes. Type 1 or Wenckebach second degree AV blocks are caused by an intermittent block of action potentials within the AV node, and eventually a complete failure to conduct an action potential from the atria to the ventricles. On a cardiac strip, you'll see a progressive lengthening of the PR interval until a normally occurring P wave is not followed by a QRS complex. You could think of this progressive lengthening PR interval as a warning, or a hint that this may be a type 1 second degree AV block. In Mobitz type 2 second degree AV block, the underlying disease is located with the His Purkinje system. This block can occur below the AV node, within the bundle of His, or within the bundle branches. This is characterized by unpredictable failure of the His Purkinje pathway to conduct the impulse from the atria to the ventricles. On a cardiac strip, in contrast to type 1 second degree AV blocks, there is no change in the PR interval prior to or after the non conducted P wave. In other words, there's no warning sign, such as a gradually changing interval you see, with a type 1 second degree AV block. In this case, QRS complexes are simply not conducted or dropped. As a result, Mobitz type 2 has a higher risk of progression to complete heart block than type 1, and usually, when this is seen on an EKG, this would be an indication for a pacemaker, even if the person is asymptomatic. So in summary, with second degree AV blocks, you'll see occasional P waves that are not followed by a QRS complex. In type 1 second degree AV blocks, you'll see a progressively lengthening PR interval before you see the missing or non-conducted QRS complex. In type 2 second degree AV blocks, you won't see any changes in the PR intervals. Instead, P waves appear normally along with their associated QRS complexes until a P wave is not fully conducted and a QRS complex is suddenly dropped. Of the two, type 2 has a higher risk for progression to complete heart block. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment below. I try my best to read all your comments for any feedback or ideas for upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you know when we release new videos. In the meantime, head over to our Patreon page and consider supporting this channel so we can continue to create and provide you with more great content.